Hi folks, Happy New Year. This is John with the Wingman 115 channel. Tonight, we're going to be talking about fundamentals. Now, with the new year, everybody always talks about resolutions and all this stuff. And then a week later, they're right back to the same old bad habit, same old bad routine. With this, I'm trying to improve on my fundamentals, just like in any sport, whether it's football, basketball, baseball, you're constantly working on the fundamentals of the sport. Well, one of the most important fundamentals is how you basically draw and grip the bow. Now, with trad archery, there's a bunch of different ways that you can draw a string back. The most common is the split finger, or what they call Mediterranean, right, which is your index finger above and your middle finger, kind of like pinching the knock and then drawn. Now, I shot bow for almost 40 years that way. And then I took a few lessons and then I tried three under. I had a broken elbow, broke my elbow back when I was a kid. So er ergonomically, the way I bend my wrist and certain things with my forearm, it was causing me pain to shoot split fingers. So coach said, hey, why don't you try three under? I did, and it works better for me. Between the two, you got to find out what's going to work for you. I was reading a book from uh, John Schultz called Hitting Him Like Howard Hill. A reader, um, a viewer on the channel sent me that book. Awesome. I wish I could remember your name. I'd give you a shout out right now. But just mass respect. Heard me talking about it. Sent me a copy. It's been out of print for a long, long time. But in that book, uh, John Schultz talks about the fundamentals of how he was taught by Howard Hill. One thing that I picked up reading that book was this. How they grip the bow. It says it didn't matter if you gripped it split finger or Mediterranean, but when you would hold the string, Howard made sure that you had a job for your thumb and your pinky. Now, a lot of people, I see them drawing the bow, they got the thumb out, they got their pinky out, like, hey, they're, they're hanging loose. And what Howard Hill told John Schultz was simple, was this. When you grip the string, and I happen to do three under, Give that thumb and pinky something to do. Have them touch. Now, I do a deep hook. So, now I have something for that thumb and that pinky to do. What that does is when I draw the bow, now I have, I'm have i giving myself a secondary anchor along with indexing up here. Now, I try to grab a tooth. It's hard to do sometimes with a glove. It's easier to do with a tab. But I've tried tabs. I'm just not a tab shooter. I just, I don't know, something mental gets in. I just like the old school feel of a glove. It just works for me. You got to find out what works for you. And that gives me that secondary point of contact when I'm touching it with my uh, thumb and pinky finger. So let's cut away. Let's try a couple shots. Let's see what happens. Now, I'm learning just like you guys. I don't recommend uh, changing too many things at one time. If you ever change anything on your bow, you do it one thing at a time, whether it's your grip, your stance, your brace height on your bow. I mean, we could do a whole separate video just on that, and maybe we will. Leave it in the comments below if you guys like these tips. But I'll cut away, we'll send some arrows down range, and we'll see how it's gonna work for us. Okay, tonight I'm shooting with two cameras. I have the iPhone and I have the DJI Osmo Pocket. I just picked it up. I'm experimenting with it. I'm shooting at 4K, 60 frames. Hopefully we can slow it down just a little bit to kind of see my release, uh, if it changes my release at all. So let's send some downrange. The biggest thing for me, just because of shooting 40 years, 45 years, a certain way, 
it feels a little bit different. So the mind's starting to go, starting to go wonko right now, trying to figure out something new, which isn't a bad thing. You always want to try to do something new to help grow your thinking in the sport. But let me get something straight. If it ain't broke, please don't fix it and don't blame me. Oh, John said. I'm just saying if you're having issues, if you're trying to take something to the next level, we can learn from these old masters. And Howard Hill and John Schultz were some of the best shooters ever. Big thing too is just slow down. Slow down that shot cycle. So as with anything new, there's going to be a learning curve. I mean, you're not just going to start something new right out the gate and, oh my God, you're, you're just banging tens all day. You're learning something, a whole different thing. It's changing your anchor just a little bit. But I'm thinking with a little bit of practice, I can bring those groups in. So I'm going to do an experiment over the course of a month. I'm going to strive to shoot this way and see how uh, my shooting ability improves. But uh, with that, let's send another volley down range, see what happens. Okay, we're trying different camera angles. I have the iPhone and I have the Osmo to kind of get a better line of sight on shooting. Just trying to use the technology to improve my shot cycle working on my stance I got my grip on the bow hardest thing for me to pick up was follow through, leaving that bow arm up until that arrow hit the target. And just being consistent. All right, so what I'm going to do is shut that camera off, and then we'll take this camera down, because we show you real world. Now, I had three that just felt super clean. Look at that. Two tens and nine. Then I had a couple that I pulled. And one thing that John Schultz mentioned in the book was... Uh, with that anchor is also getting that head tilt a little bit with the bow cant and being able to do it consistently. And the shots that I pulled, I wasn't consistent with how I held my arm, my head angle. I had my two anchor points, but remember a little bit here is gonna change everything downrange, especially at 15, 20, 30 yards. So just things to consider uh, when you're doing this, I'm going to take it slow. We'll do a 30-day follow-up video, let you know the progress, and uh, make sure to follow along. Like this video. Give it a thumbs up. It helps the algorithm. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And if you want to learn more about traditional archery, have a ton of videos, how-tos, how to get in the sport, all that good stuff. Take a kid out there, teach him the sport, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.